the commercial applications that tend to be using the geothermal are typically uh, schools and universities, churches. We've done projects as small as a, a bank to as large as a school. Uh, we're doing a project at uh, Lipscomb University right now that is a, the nursing building that is geothermal. They're taking a building that was just recently just a water source heat pump system. The building is less than three years old and they're converting it to geothermal. The front end costs are high on the system, but the payoff period over time it will pay for itself. And once it's paid for, then the efficiencies will more than pay for itself in the future because we all know that energy costs are not going down, they're going up. It depends. Uh, it could be as, as short as five years or as much as 20. Obviously, the, large, the larger the facility, and there's a lot of factors that play into that. I mean, runtime, weather, you know, large increases in utility cost. There's, I mean, there's, we can only calculate it on what we know today. This is a variable frequency drive, which controls the speed of the motor, which in turn controls the flow of the water. And this right here, you can adjust the water. This valve out right here to adjust the flow through here. You just set it right here, and it says on here how much water flow you have on it. Right now, we have it at 100%. Once everything is up and running and everything, that may be a, get adjusted. And this valve right here is to isolate in case you have to change the motor out so you don't lose all the water out of your system. This here is an air separator. If there's any air that gets inside the lines, it'll go to the top of that and stay up there. And there's a little valve we put on top of there that bleeds the air out when it does get a mount pressure in it. It'll slowly bleed the air out. So you don't get any of your uh, pumps. You don't get air locked. Or if you had to change out the coil or something inside here without having to shut the whole system down. Here, just slide these out. And this one has the two filters because of the size of it.